Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Brett's Brain. Today, we're going to talk about burn rate. Hey, I'm Brett Roll, entrepreneur turned venture capitalist. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure you subscribe, rate, review, like, do all those things. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Happy to answer those as best we can. So burn rate. Entrepreneurs, boards, venture capitalists, everybody in the space talks about burn rate all the time. It's a really important metric for you to know as the CEO of a company. But what is it? It's pretty simple, actually. A burn rate is how much cash you use on a monthly basis. There are some common mistakes made around burn, though. Sometimes there's some cute confusion around, is it my total expenses? And I don't think that's the right way to calculate or report burn. Because if you have revenue, it can offset some of those expenses. So if you just tell me, yep, our burn rate's $100,000, and you're telling me that you're own, that's what you spend, that's what your expenses are on a monthly basis is $100,000 and you have a million bucks in the bank, you would have 10 months of runway left. So you'd be burning $100,000 each month or using $100,000 of that cash on a monthly basis. But that same company scenario, let's say that you're doing $50,000 in revenue. Your burn rate isn't $100,000. You're not using $100,000 in cash because you have $50,000 coming in every month. So your burn rate or your net burn is actually $50,000. And your runway isn't 10 months, it's 20 months. You got 20 months left before you run out of cash. That's a huge difference. And so what we care about as board members, investors, and entrepreneurs and CEOs of startups, we should really care about how much cash are we spending, the cash inflows and outflows. That's really important. How much cash are we spending and how much time do we have left before we run out of that money. So we can make the appropriate plans. We can make the appropriate strategy around our current cash position. If we're just reporting burn as our total expenses on a monthly basis, that doesn't really help us as much. You should be reporting burn on what's our actual cash usage and predict it out over the future. And you can have some predictions like, hey, if we stay steady, this is what our burn is going to be. If our revenue keeps growing, this is where our burn is going to go but it should be a tool that enables you to create strategies around your cash position. So next time you report burn, make sure that you're reporting it on a what cash is actually going out basis, not what are your expenses basis.